Yo, what is up guys, Kingsmilts here and welcome to a new video on my channel. Today you can see I'm playing GTA 5 on my PS3 again. And if you see on my live streams, I'm using a mod loader. And maybe you guys are interested on how to install this mod loader. It's this one from James Reborn. And it has so many options, it has so many mod menus on it. If you go to normal mod menus, these are many different mod menus you can use to mod on GTA 5 online. And it's a very good mod loader with very, very, very many uh, mod menus on it. You can use most used mod menus. I use normally, I use Not Your Dopes and Arabic Guy. Maybe you um, reckon, and maybe you can uh, recognize this for my streams. I use this one a lot, and this one also. And this is my main SPRX menu. Um, this one I'm using for teleport people and um, give everyone weapons. This I'm using for money drops on all lobbies. And this one I'm using to rank up people because um, some mod menus have the option to rank up people but it doesn't work. I know this one can rank up people. This one can teleport all people from the lobby to one specific place. And um, this one can do give money drop to everyone in the lobby that's uh, right next to me or in yeah that's just right next to me so I'm going to show you how to install this mod menu it's very easy let's do this okay guys so when you got on my discord and you downloaded the update.rpf file Go to your FileZilla or get a USB stick. Um, I'm going to do this with FileZilla because it's very easy and you don't need a USB stick. If you don't have FileZilla, downloads are also in my disk. You just go to my Discord, go to downloads links and press the link with the mod loader in it and it will show up as a download. So make sure to join my Discord server, go to downloads and download FileZilla. It's this program right here. I use this for um, putting stuff over my PS3. You, I mean, transferring games to my PS3, transferring mod menus to my PS3 and stuff like that. And when you're on your PS3, you need to use your IP address. Um, you can see my PS3 IP address is this one right below my screen. You can do anything with it. Uh, with my, I mean, you can do anything with my IP address. It's a PS3 IP address, it's not my main IP address, it's just for my PS3, so I don't I don't care if you guys see this. But if you don't if it don't show up on your screen right there, go to um, system settings and then go to system information and it will show your current IP address and use that one also. If you if it doesn't show up on your screen, go to system information. I'm not going to show you, but my I don't want to show my Mac address and stuff like that. So make sure to show your IP right there. And if you have your IP, the only thing what you need to do is go to your FileZilla, put in your IP right here. So my IP is right here. I mean, just if you have it, put it in in host. And when you have it, just go to quick connect and it will connect with your PS3. You can see mine is connected. So, um, you need to go to dev hd0 okay guys so make sure you go to your game folder bless 18.7 usrdr and you can see i have the eboot.bin and update.rpf file in here so what you need to do is put this update.rpf file in your file zilla here in this folder and it will transfer to your ps3 and if you started gta 5 again you can see you have the mod loader installed it was very easy guys thanks for watching make sure to like this video and i see you guys in another video bye